peace is harmony among people. It's uh, accepting the strength of our diversity and resolving disputes through dialogue and the rule of law. It's really becoming president after on my third try. Uh, professionally, I think leading the effort that led to the resolu resolution of Liberia's huge external debt of $4.9 billion that we were able to resolve in three years. To respond to the special circumstances of the young people, um, those who have been bypassed by education, those who didn't have skills to be able to benefit from the many thousands of jobs that will be created in the next few months from the 16 billion investment that we mobilized. And that means um, being able to provide them with um, vocational training, um, giving them skills for those who, who are eligible, getting them back to schools. Um, responding to some of their basic needs that have been missing. Uh, many of them have um, been allowed to succumb to drugs. How do we give them life back and give them their dignity back? Part of all, what about lingering problems we have in this country has to do with disaffected youth. And that has to be our next and most important challenge to respond to them. Over. You know, I'm always, my strength comes from what I call the three H that my parents instilled in us. Hard work. And I've been doing that, I've been working since I was 17 years old. You know, all kinds of work. Menial work, difficult work, professional work, and now political work. So hard work, honesty. I stand by my integrity. Over the years, I mean, even in difficult circumstances, when I have to fight this in others, mine remains intact, and that comes from, again, from my training of my parents. And humility, um, those are my three strengths. And those are the characteristics I hold dear and have lived by those symbols. Uh, my weaknesses uh, is that I live in a society where we all so intermingle that sometimes you have too much sympathy as even though I'm called Iron Lady, even though I make strong hard decisions, but there are times when I too am um, I sympathize with, with certain situations and um, that may also not serve some of my purpose. Uh, I also um, I'm not tolerant uh, of incompetence. And I don't suffer fools gladly, so that uh, makes me a hard person to work with, but at the end of the day I think it's for their own good. So that weakness becomes their strength. It will certainly reinforce my commitment um, to continuing to work for the empowerment of women, for the participation of women. And what is going, where it's going to be, it will impose a lot on me too because, I, like I said before, the expectations of being a peace laureate and how you affect the lives of, of those with whom you have to work and you have to live, particularly women, uh, will, will indeed uh, 
put a grave responsibility on me. Um, in my particular position, just responding to the many calls for interviews, for speeches, for participation in meetings, adding to my already uh, very charged um, political work and political leadership. So I'm sure in the next year I will be on a great stream. I will want quickly to wait for next year to come for the next group of peace laureates to take over. That there may be uh, uh, difficulties, political difficulties in our sub-region, not only in, in our country, but also all our neighboring countries. We all I, have a state of fragility when it comes to the fact that we've all come out of this region of war and they are still in our midst, many who who um, still attempt to take us back to periods of conflict. I think we've come a long way in Liberia in, in that respect. So has Sierra Leone, um, Guinea and Cote d'Ivoire just coming out of theirs. But it worries all of us that there could be some group internal or external that may try to create confusion if things don't go fully right in any one country. And that could um, put us all uh, in, in serious strain. So, but we hope we will. That will not happen because we will continue to take those measures that will um, attempt to unite and reconcile us, and more importantly, to respond to the basic needs of our people to fight poverty because that's the root of the conflict. Living by the law, engaging with others, uh, interacting and responding to others, promoting dialogue, promoting discussion, uh, enhancing education. Those are all the elements that Toward and promote peace and, and, and show sustained peace. Uh, we don't perhaps do enough of that. Many of us are so busy on our own professional or business, uh, political problems, living in our own little cages that we don't reach out enough to other people. Um, we spend too much time perhaps watching the television screen or what's happening around the world and not paying too much more, much more attention to some of our own domestic concerns and issues.